everybody except Luke. All right, and uh, why do I see that some Bibles have Luke and John and... So, you're asking who was Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul, Peter, and all those, right? Mm -hmm. Those are followers of Christ, right? So the word, the word, uh, the word Christian means follower of Christ. So, um, what you would see today, people call themselves Christians, but they're not actually Christians, right? Because to be a Christian, you have to live like Christ lived. And Christ lived by God's law, such as commandments. So the, the, the people that you're asking about are people that wrote accounts of Christ's life, right? Right, so just like when Muhammad was given the was given the vision by Jabril, right? And he gave, he told these these guys to write what he told them, right? So that's the same thing that happened with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. But I mean, like, why does everybody? Well, actually, it's not exactly the same thing. See, he told them that he would reveal something, and he told them what he revealed because he didn't write it. You exactly. We agree with that. Oh, Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad. No, all of them wrote it. Muhammad, they, no, Muhammad was the, he lit, lit, literate. Uh, when uh, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him died, passed away, the uh, is what did they call it? Some Some describes. Yeah. Describe. So what they did was they combined all of the uh, uh, Quran writings that they had, whether it was on leather or whether it was on rocks, uh, wood. So they combined it all and put it in one book to make sure that this never changes and not to be lost, all right? Now the reason the Muslims uh, recite the Quran, you have uh, about 100 to 200 million Muslims who have fully recited the Quran, is that so the future it will stay the same and nobody will change it. I mean, uh, so, so let me ask you this, all right, so if you, were, if you wanted something written, oh, 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 speaking in the sense of, if you wanted something written, right, and you told us to write it, wouldn't you proofread it to make sure it's written right? Yeah. You would proofread it, right? Okay. So, if Muhammad told the, the, the guy, the scribes, to write what the vision that he gave them, how would you be able to trust it if he wasn't able to proofread it? I didn't say he was not able to proofread it. But how can he proofread it if he's illiterate? He couldn't read or write. Yeah, that was at first. So, so you said later on he was able to read? Yeah. What? When the, uh, what's it called? the ayat, uh -huh. which is the chapters of the Quran, uh -huh. he memorized them. Let me show you something real quick. Bring it up. This is the book of Amos, chapter 2 and verse 11. And I raise up your sons for prophets. So, the name of your God is Allah, right? Yeah. You know why? You, do you know why y'all call the name of your God Allah? Because it goes back to the ancient Hebrew, the Aramaic. Yeah. It's Allah Hayyim. Yeah. Ila. Which means gods, mm -hmm. or plural, right? Mm -hmm. So the God that you're speaking of, or the God that they were speaking of, would, would be the God of the Bible, right? Yeah. Right. Be all right. Watch it. And I raised up your sons for prophets. So God says, I raised up your sons for prophets. And up your young men for Nazarites. Uh huh. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel? He said, I raised up the children of Israel for prophets. See, what a lot of people don't know is before Prophet Muhammad established Islam as a religion, the, the Arab man and woman had 365 gods that God for each day. That's before y'all went into monotheism, right? But a lot of people don't know that. Okay, do you know why he established Islam as a religion? Because he was taught by Israelites. I'm gonna give you an example, right? Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 225. I'm gonna show you something. We'll go to Deuteronomy 265. Again, uh, uh, Leviticus 11 and 7 phase. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the reason why. Because see, a lot of people don't know that. Islam, and I'm not being disrespectful, but Islam was created based off of the law, statutes, and commandments that the Israelites already had. And when Muhammad established Islam as a religion, he came back to the Israelites and tried to teach us his new religion, and we did not want we did not want to conform to it. And that's when the sub-Saharan and the trans-Saharan slave trade occurred. Can I tell you something? Uh huh? You do know that we believe uh, the Prophet of Abraham and the Prophet of Jesus is the same. Uh, 
yeah. are the same message as the Prophet Muhammad? I know that in the Quran it tells you that you have to believe in Christ, the uh, prophets, the Bible, the Torah, the Tanakh. I know it says that in the Quran. Yeah, you're right. But but we were talking to a, a Muslim a couple weeks ago, and one one flaw with that is in the Quran it tells you that you can't eat pork, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna show you something real quick. This is the book of Le 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 Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Uh -huh. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. So the Most High God tells the Israelites that the swine is unclean to us. That's, that's, yeah, sorry, the swine is the pork? The swine is pork. Okay. Yeah. That's where that's that's the reason why Arabs, Arabs went to not eat pork in Islam because it says it in the Bible. But the, the flaw with that is in the Quran it tells you that you can eat pork if you're in dire need. Yeah, that's right. If you're gonna die, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. if you're gonna die, you're allowed to do anything to survive. I'm not talking about killing another person and uh, eating him. No, I'm talking about like, let's say you're in the desert somewhere. You don't know anybody and you're by yourself, right? And you found a pork. Mm -hmm. So you're about to die. You're allowed to eat that. Uh, to, to, to stay living, I mean. So if, if, Muslims are supposed to follow what's in the Bible, right? But the Bible don't give you a good reason to eat pork. We have to die before we eat pork. Okay. We can't even touch it at all. We have to die. Okay. I have a question. Uh -huh. what is, why is it so common then in America? Because they don't know what's in the Bible. You've asked us some good questions now. Yeah, absolutely. You've asked good questions. It's common in America because they don't know the Bible. You know how you see like Christians, they'll have the Bible. And they, they say they're teaching the Bible, but they're not teaching the Bible. They don't know the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we come out here to, to teach, because we try to correct all the all, all, all the misconceptions about the Bible. It's like we run across a lot of people that say they know they know the Bible and they believe in God. But then when you actually read the Bible, they don't believe in the God of the Bible. You see what I'm saying? That's the reason why we're out here. And that's, oh, wait, wait, bring it up. Right. This is the book of Se Second Ma Maccabees, chapter 6, and verse. 18. Eleazar, one of the principal scribes, an aged man and of a well favored countenance, was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. Said to eat swine's flesh of pork. But he, choosing rather to die gloriously than to live stained with such an abomination, spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment. So they were trying to force this Israelite, they were trying to force this Israelite to eat pork. And he said he would rather die than eat pork. See, that's that's where the that's where the misconception comes in that. See, and that's and like I said, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, see. I'm just trying to give you the truth. That's the reason why we call Islam a watered down version of what we bring. It's it's your religion, but it's not the, the absolute truth is in the Bible. And so when the Israelites taught Muhammad our heritage and our customs. That's why he created a religion from that. You get what I'm saying? This is what it says in the Quran right here. So this is Surah 2 and 122. It says, Children of Israel, recall my favor which I bestowed upon you and exalted you above the nations of the world. So Muhammad said that he exalted the Israelites above all the nations on earth. Right? So that's the reason why the Quran points at points that the Muslims say, if you want to know anything, go back to the book or to the people of the book, which are the Israelites, the children of Israel. See, everybody, see, up until this, up until now, up until modern times, everybody already knew that the Israelites were God's chosen people, right? See, what's, this is what's going to happen in the future. Let's get let's get Isaiah 14 and 1. This is what's going to happen in the future. Because remember I told you that Muhammad learned our customs, created Islam, right? And then taught it to, to, to the Muslims, to the Arabs, right? And so then he tried to come back to us. We didn't want to conform. So then they they attacked us. They enslaved us, and that that brought forth the sub Saharan sub Saharan slave trade and uh, trans Saharan slave trade. So I'm gonna show you something. Bring it out. Hey, so do you know who the children of Israel are? Yeah, they're or, the sons of the Prophet Yaqub. Right. Yes, Jake. So, um, who are the children of Israel today? The Jews. 
the Jews, right? Okay, so are you talking about the uh, you talking about the people of Israel right now? I'm what? Are you talking about the people that's in the Holy Land? No. In Israel. No. So, so who are who are who are the Jews? Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm about to tell you who the Jews are. Get uh, Revelation two. Uh, right. The Book of Re 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 Revelations two and verse nine. Uh -huh. And it reads, "I I know thy works and tribulation and poverty." But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So this is John the Revelator when he was on the island of Patmos. He received, he received visions, right? He saw and, and, and was given information from Christ. Christ said it's going to be people in the last days that's going to be calling themselves Jews, right? And are not but are the chief house of Satan or are the synagogue of Satan. So we know people that are calling themselves Jews, right? And are not, right? Let me ask you this. Bring up Caesarea. Bring up Caesarea. What does, what does, what does Jesus look like? Well, you guys think that he has uh, long hair and long beard? In Revelation 1, 14. Well, well, not weak, right? It's, it's, it's what the Bible claims. So, let me uh, bring it out real quick. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the revelation of Jesus Christ means the revealing of Jesus Christ, right? His head, this is verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the scriptures say his head and his hairs are white like wool. Look at his image right here. What was that? He doesn't have, he doesn't, he's not fitting the description, right? You know where this image right here comes from? This is the son of Pope Alexander the Sixth of Rome, right? His name is Cesare Borzano. He was pushed on our people during the time of the Renaissance when we were taken into slavery, right? This image is all around the world, right? All you have to do is go on Google and Google Jesus Christ, and that's gonna come up. Why is that? Give me a uh, give me a uh, uh, Joe nine two. Uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. So let me ask you this. Who has woolly hair in the earth? What, what ethnicity of people, what race of people have woolly hair? Woolly, woolly, like a snow. Look, look at his head. Oh, okay. Look at his head. Oh, so that's what woolly hair means. This is woolly, woolly, it's kinky, woolly oh, hair, right? Okay, okay, I didn't know that's, that. That's what woolly hair means. Bring up the image of the sheep. Okay. Right? Can you read on this? Yeah, yeah. And his, Give me one second. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, uh -huh. and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. What color is brass? Copper. Copper. It would be similar to like a penny, right? Yeah. Right? So if you put anything in a furnace, what color does it turn? Darker. It turns dark. You put anything in a, in a furnace, it's almost going to turn black. It's going to burn the hell up. Right? So the people that are in Israel right now, what do they look like? White. They're white. So Christ was a Jew, correct? So how are they the Jews when they look nothing like Christ? Would you say that Christ's people would look like him? Well, that does not matter. I mean, uh, it, it, it doesn't the matter? The color and shape of people. So, 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 so. It doesn't matter. You said color doesn't matter. Is that what you said? Yeah. It's color. It's color in the Bible. Yeah. Color it's, isn't in the Bible. I, I'm not sure, honestly. No. I never studied the Bible. Bring, 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 bring. Watch, I'm gonna show you. Hold on, hold on. Go, 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 go. go, 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 go. go. You might have understood it wrong. Yeah. So you're saying that two people have to look like Jesus Christ? No, I said would his people look similar to him? No. How can? How can? How can? How can? Jews be white now when they were very melanated people at one time. Well, I mean, our prophet was white. It's, uh, it's okay for a black person to become Muslim. I'm not getting your point. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. But being a Muslim is a religion, right? I'm talking about a, a, a ethnicity, right? A nationality, right? A race. The Jews.
Jews were actually a race of people. I'm not talking about Jew Jewish. That's a religion. Right? So, what, he, what he's saying is, what country are you from? Lebanon. Lebanon. What he's saying is, wouldn't other Leban Lebanese people look like you? Well, most, most people from Lebanon would favor you as far as color, hair texture, hair texture, and everything else, right? That's what he's saying. He's saying not the religion, but the, the, the race of people. The people with the, with the bloodline look alike. You get know what I'm saying? That's, that's what right, right, right. Great point. And, 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 and to, to land me back on what he said, these were the Jews that live in Israel right now. That's right. Right? The Jews have been, uh, nationality of the Jews have been stolen. Right? I'm going to show you that in church. Right now. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, and verse 22. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face wax pale. So the scripture said Jacob's face wouldn't wax pale. Right? You know what that means? I mean, if you look at the people in the land today, the they're very pale. Yeah. They're, 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 they're pale. The scripture yeah. said Jacob would never wax pale. Right? So my point in saying that is that. The people in the land of Israel are not the Jews. They're not the people of God. They have the world's largest gay parade in Tel Aviv. You think these are really the people of God? They are not the people of God. You're looking at the Jews right before your eyes today. That's right. But our people, we, we drop down to such a low estate, we don't know who we are. We're destroyed. We call ourselves black. The same color is your jacket. That's what we call ourselves, a color in a crayon box. But how are we black? We're not. Right? I have a question. Go ahead. You guys are full Palestine? Are we full Palestine? Pro Palestine. Pro Palestine. Pro Israel. We, 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 we pro Israelites, not the people in the land of right, Israel. Right, right. They don't, to be honest, and there's no disrespect to anybody, but we don't really care because it doesn't have anything to do with us. Nobody was concerned about our plight in America right. when we went. Uh, 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 over centuries of, of being enslaved. Nobody came to our rescue or cared about what our ancestors were going through. So it's not, it's not, it's not our problem. I know it will affect us one day because we're on the verge of World War III, right? But it just doesn't have anything to do with us. No, I, I have another question. Go ahead with your question. When uh, Russia has started reading Ukraine, uh -huh. is there? It doesn't have anything to do with us. I mean, all we care about is this right here. Right? And, 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 and to be honest, as the scriptures say in the book of Isaiah, everybody is going to go to their own people. And that's what really, that's what really all we care about. Because again, and it's no disrespect, but these are the, the children of Israel right here. It's no disrespect, right? But this is just not our fight. Nobody, again, nobody cared when we, in the sub-Saharan slave slave, that had something to do with, with sub saharan Yeah, so Saudi Arabia? Yes. Yeah, no, that's, that, that's the Sub Saharan will be in Africa. Right, right, right. In oh. the West Coast of Africa, right? Well, you no. know that out of America, it's, it was not just about race when they enslaved. It was anybody, everybody. And Islam, before it was uh, banned, uh -huh. uh, it became Haram. So are you talking about the transatlantic slave trade or the Sub Saharan trade? Man, I don't know. Neither of course. I'm talking about uh, slavery in the Middle East. Yeah. A long time ago, right? So it wasn't just black people who were in state. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not denying that. Okay. I'm not denying that. But you know, we had rules. Like right. You have to feed them. You have to be well with them. You cannot torture them. You cannot. Yeah. You, you have to treat them as an equal. Uh huh. This, yeah. I, I, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say. Even. You 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 said it. That that that. Y'all had to treat the slaves equal, but like, like he just questioned, like, how can you treat a slave equal? See, the thing is, let, let's get uh, let's get Joel chapter three, verse one. The thing is, by the Israelites being God's chosen people, right? If let me ask you this: if the 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 Arab people are God's chosen people, or if the Arab people are Allah's chosen people, and somebody do something to the Arab people, do you think? That Allah's gonna do something about those people. He's gonna punish them. Nobody said that. 
No, no, no. I'm saying, what if it, what if that was the case? It's not the case. Okay, but let, I'm, I'm going to prove our case. Listen to me. Can you give me five minutes? I need to call someone. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. All right, thank you. Hey, what's, what's this uh, place called? This is Five Points. Five Points South. Yeah, how you doing, sis? You know what we out here doing? We out here teaching our people who they are. That they are the children of Israel. We got a bloodline descendants of, of uh, the Israelites. And it's time for us to come back to our heritage. Christianity is not our heritage. That's right. Being black is not our heritage. That's right. Our heritage goes back to who we were before coming to America. Teach up. We were the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I ain't gonna say where we are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We have we have people right now claiming to be us. But let's pull Ezekiel 3, 36 and 5 real quick. There's people right now claiming to be the Israelites, but they don't claim to be Israelites. They claim to be Israelis, which means an occupant of Israel. Anybody can be an Israeli. A Chinese man can be an Israeli. A German man can be an Israeli. An Arab man can be an Israeli. Anybody can be an Israeli. Because if you go there and you live there, then, they, then you're an Israeli. But we are the children of Israel. That's right. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36 and verse 5. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen huh? and against all Idumia. He said he's speaking against all who? All Idumia. Huh? which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. So the most high is saying, can you just pause it quickly? Or is that not a pause, 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 pause what? The, uh, oh, pause, pause. You, know, you, you can get in whenever you're ready. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you that honestly, I was the wrong person to uh, have a discussion with. You called somebody to come talk to us. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm gonna go back home. Okay. But the reason I'm telling you this is honestly, uh, my English is still not that good. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys already know, know yeah. uh, knew you that. Pretty good. Yeah. 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 Pretty good. Oh really? Yeah, Thank problem. you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And second of all, uh, I'm honestly I need to study more of uh, my religion. I mean, uh, yeah. I know what I what I can do and I cannot do, but I I don't know the history of it and before that and before that. Uh -huh. So. Uh, honestly, before if you, you go, can I ask you one thing about the Quran? Yeah. Does the Quran say that you can um, beat your wife? No. Are you sure? Yes. Bring that out and. Um... All right, hold up, hold up. It's better to ask a sheikh, a okay. scholar in Islam, than me. Okay. All right? gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because listen, the Quran can be understood in different ways that are wrong. I got you. I got you. Right, right. Right, 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 right. But please, please, if you do consult a sheikh, a scholar of Islam, please keep an open mind. I honestly, I honestly loved what you guys are doing, bringing back the true roots of of Christianity and the true, true uh, rights and wrongs. Right. One thing I do want to say though, this isn't Christianity that we're out here doing. Right. Like, we don't, we don't have no dealings with Christianity. Isn't the Holy Bible? Uh, you won't find the word Christianity in the Bible. Oh, it's, it's not in there. So you guys don't do this? Uh, no. no, 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 no. That, that would be Catholicism, which is a, which which uh, Christianity is a form of Catholicism. But no, we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? We're out here to tell the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that they are the children of Israel, right? They're God's chosen people, and we've lost our way, we, we've lost our, our culture, our nationality, our heritage, because we disobeyed our God. Well, I would like to tell you just one more thing. Okay. Please, you guys really have a truly open mind and uh -huh. a great mind. For sure. You guys are seeing the truth, okay? So please, if you ever discuss with a sheikh, uh, who we are, 